So this month, Adobe have released yet more updates for Lightroom and Camera Raw, including an amount slider for the presets. But the question still remains, what is the difference between a preset and a profile? Okay, so profiles and presets, what is the difference? Think of it like this, a profile is a look and a preset is an edit. When we look at the name, a profile is just a file, a single one-click filter, a look that you can add to your images. Now, if you've heard of lookup tables in Photoshop or Premiere Pro, then you won't go far wrong of thinking of profiles as being kind of the same thing. Because they're adding a look to your images, they're great for adding the finishing touches at the end of your edit, and you can do so to a greater or lesser extent using the amount slider. The default is at 100%, but we can decrease that amount or even increase it to 200%. When we use a profile, the amount slider is all we can use to alter it, and we don't see any changes in the adjustment sliders. You could also think of profiles as being like a filter in Instagram. Because they're great for finishing touches, I'd love to see them with their own section in the bottom right of the Lightroom interface. Now, although there doesn't appear to be a way to create or add our own creative profiles into Lightroom, we can actually do it. But we actually need to dive into Camera Raw first of all. So to get to Camera Raw, I first of all come into Photoshop and then go to the Filter menu to choose Camera Raw Filter. But you can see here that it's greyed out. And that's because I need some kind of a document open. Doesn't need to be anything special. I'll just create something nice and simple. So we go File, New, one of these preset document sizes here, and then click on Create. Then when I go back to the filter menu, I can access the Camera Raw Filter. Now over on the right hand side of Camera Raw, we've got three dots here, this ellipsis menu. And if I click on that, you can see here it opens it up and there is the option here of creating a preset. However, we want to create a profile. So what we need to do is hold down the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows and then click on that three ellipsis menu there. And you'll see here it changes to say Create Profile. I click on that. It brings up this dialog here. First of all, at the very top, what do you want this profile to be called? I'm going to call this 1940s. It's going to go into a group of my own called User Profiles. And right down at the bottom here, we have the Color Lookup Table option. If I put a little tick in there, it opens up then the finder on my computer where I can navigate to wherever I've got some lookup tables stored on my computer's hard drive. Here's a selection I have from my own Creative Pack 3. I'm going to click on the very first one called 1940s RAF and then click on Load. You can see here it puts it down at the bottom. The color space here, I'm going to change to Adobe RGB, and then we'll just click OK, and then click OK in Camera Raw. Then what I'll do is I'll go back into Lightroom. You can see here on the right-hand side, when we click on the profiles, nothing new has been added. I actually need to close down Lightroom and then reopen it. Now when Lightroom's open, if I come over to the right-hand side and click to open up the profiles, you can see here in the group called User Profiles, here's the one I've just added called 1940s. And if I just put my cursor over it, you can see here that we can see a full real-time preview of what that profile will do. And again, I can use that amount slider to control how much or how little I want of that profile to be applied. Now in the description of the video, I've also added a couple of links to other videos that I've done. One showing how to make, save, export and import lookup tables. The other again showing how you can add them into Camera Raw and Lightroom to use as profiles. Now presets are different because we do get access to the settings. Presets are fantastic if you're looking for inspiration or you're stuck with how to approach and edit. You can click on a preset see the adjustments, and then dive in and change them to suit your taste and your vision. So we get to see everything that was done. They're also a great way to learn editing because we see what the sliders and a combination of the sliders can do. We can also apply a preset when importing images, which can potentially save a ton of time. 
This month, Adobe finally introduced an amount slider for using with the presets. Now, we don't currently have layers in Lightroom like we do in Photoshop, but with all the adjustments made by the preset, this is like having a group of adjustments and controlling the opacity of that group. The big difference is that we can not only reduce the result, but also increase it just like with the profile amount slider. Now, with some presets, you can't use the amount slider, and that's because that preset has used some auto settings. Auto settings will be things like the auto in the tone section or auto in the transform tab. An example where it isn't available would be in here. You can see when I click on one of the presets, the amount slider is greyed out and unusable. Now, unlike profiles, we can make presets within Lightroom by clicking on the plus icon and then create preset. We can then choose which settings to save and to form part of that preset. Notice though how when you choose the auto checkbox, the amount slider option is greyed out. Now one last thing, artificial intelligence. With Adobe's artificial intelligence, Adobe Sensei, becoming more and more involved, presets can also take advantage of that. And in this recent update, Adobe have added some presets with artificial intelligence for selecting the subject and selecting the sky within the picture. Now this can potentially be a huge time saver. You could have a number of images and by using the artificial intelligence in the subject and sky presets, Lightroom will look at each individual and different image in the batch, create the masks and apply the edits. A huge time saver syncing a number of different images with just one click. So there you go. A profile is a look which is kind of like a filter and the only way we can control its strength is by using the amount slider to increase or decrease the look. A preset is an edit where we do have access to all of the settings so we can change them to suit our own taste. We can also create presets within Lightroom Oh, and we can also export our own presets out of Lightroom to share with others by right-clicking and choosing Export. So if you weren't so sure of the difference between presets and profiles in Lightroom and Camera Raw, I really hope that's been useful. Don't forget to check out the links to the other videos that I've put in the description part of the video. But for now, that's me. I'm done. I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click on the subscribe button. That's just a great free way that you can support this channel. But yeah, that's me. I'm done. I'll see you in the next video.